Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. As you can see, I am through Skype. And you're probably wondering, why is this technically a part two? Well, let's just say when me, Kevin Falk, Moosies, and WWE fan filmed it, Adam Haskell unfortunately had internet issues. So here is the version where Adam Haskell will give you his uh, top five anticipated. So without further ado, um, Adam, if you have any honorable mentions, you could go ahead and say what they are, and then you could go ahead and start off with your top five list. No honorable mention. All righty then. Then, Adam, what is your number five? My number five is Bad Santa 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I love the first Bad Santa. I think it's one of the best comedies ever made. Fuck you, Kevin. It's really great. Um, I love it. And this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I do have my worries, but I did laugh a lot in the trailer. So it was like a lot of, like, just a really fun sequel. Uh, could go either way. It could be really good or it could be bad. I don't know. It just looks fun. That's all I really want out of it. I don't expect it to be as good as the first one. I definitely don't expect that. But I do expect it to, I, I think it's going to, it could be a fun sequel. So I do have faith in Bad Santa too. I think it looks like a fun time. Number four is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, I don't... What? That one I approve of. Of course you do. Um, now, I don't love any of the Harry Potter movies, but I enjoyed all of them. I don't love them like a lot of people do. But this movie looks really interesting, I gotta say. Eddie Redmayne does a, like, he does a really great job in it. And the visual effects just look really fucking amazing. Like, this just looks like a visual freak. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks really interesting. I'm really interested in another movie in the Harry Potter universe. Um, it, I think it could be better than some of the Harry Potter movies, honestly. I think it could be. So, yeah, Fantastic Beasts, Where to Find Them. I do think it looks like a really fun time. And just like all the other Harry Potter movies, I think it, look, it looks like it's just going to be a fun movie to see a packed theater at like midnight just looks like one of those type of movies so yeah and that's piece of where to find them looks really good and i'm really excited for it okay moving on with number three is assassin's creed i played the games a lot growing up <laughs> assassin's creed is like a child's favorite that sounds weird <laughs> it's a child's favorite I definitely love playing those games growing up because I love killing people in games. It's a lot of fun. So, but the movie looks the movie looks like a really fun time. It looks like it's really staying true to the games. Even though I play the games, I don't know a whole ton about them. I didn't really like do like the story modes and shit. I just liked killing people because I uh, I had an obsession with that when I was little. Assassin's Creed looks really fun. I can't wait. It looks like they're staying true to the game. It looks like it's going to be a fun time out at the theaters. I don't know why the fuck it's coming out around Christmas. It's a weird fucking change for it. But it actually it kind of looks is. like a really fun movie, and I can't wait for Assassin's Creed. So that's number three. Number two is a movie that looks really... I don't know about you guys, but that this movie looks trippy as hell. And that is Doctor Strange. Oh, yes. When I, watched, when I watched the trailer for this movie, it looks trippy, man. But it looks really fucking cool. Bandit Cumberbatch looks really great as Doctor Strange. And the visual effects look like some of the best visual effects Marvel has ever done. And that is saying something, because Marvel has great visual effects. And it looks like a very different movie from Marvel, too, I gotta say. It looks like it's gonna have a lot of serious things in it which is nice um and i do think this looks like a really great film and i'm so pumped for this one it looks different from marvel and looks trippy and i like trippy movies i mean look at sponge out of water it's a really trippy movie really like that so can't wait for this one 
number one, I know this is a major fucking cliche. Um, it's the Rogue One, the Star Wars story. Oh my god, I'm so shocked. Okay, I'm just joking, guys. Number one is really Boo of Medea's Halloween. I cannot wait for that movie. <laughs> It's absolutely perfect in every sense of the word. It looks like a cinematic masterpiece. It looks better than fucking with you, Kevin. <laughs> really is, yeah, it's Rogue One Star Wars story. It looks, it looks different. And I like that. I like it looks different than your typical Star Wars movie. It looks very different. And just like Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, it just, I like seeing, I just have a thing for movies that are like, different but they take place in the same universe i just think it's really cool and this movie looks really different for a star wars movie and i really like that they're trying new things for this universe and it looks like a really good movie the visual effects just look exceptional they look absolutely amazing the acting looks great i cannot wait to see this shit in imax 3d and jizz my fucking pants while watching it because i love star wars <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. Well, thank you, Adam Haskell, for actually taking the time to do your top five anticipated movies of fall, winter 2016. Uh, that was really cool. It'd be great if Kevin wasn't laughing the whole fucking time. <laughs> so you guys yeah um, of course check out Adam Haskell's channel I will leave a link in the description down below and of course if for, for some reason you haven't been able to see the list that me Kevin Falk Moosies and WWE fan did you can go ahead and check that out that will be in the link in the description down below this is 22 Tiger Dude here with the star of this video this is technically Adam's video uh, with Adam Haskell and Moosies and Kevin Falk and don't forget that I will always have, we will always have, Tiger Power! Power.